TikTok is filled with insane PC hacks that promise instant FPS boosts, but have you ever wondered if any of them actually work? With millions of videos uploaded to the platform every day, there has to be at least one that can help me hit 1000 FPS, right? Well, in this video, I'm putting the most viewed TikTok PC hacks to the test to see if they can actually get me to 1000 FPS or if they're just gonna flood my PC with 1000 viruses. We've got a ton of hacks to test and a lot of FPS to gain, so let's jump straight into the challenge. To begin this challenge, we need a pretty solid gaming PC to start with, because let's be real, hitting this number isn't something any regular desktop can do, especially with Fortnite's terrible performance updates recently. The game has gotten so bad that even Clix, who was previously able to reach 1300 FPS, can no longer hit 1000, even with the fully maxed out PC with the fastest possible parts. For some reason, this PC is only 800. Why is it so low? But you might be wondering, if a professional gamer with the most powerful gaming PC can barely average 900 FPS, how am I supposed to pull off 1000 with a build that costs less than just his GPU? Well, to complete this challenge without a $500 CPU or a $2000 GPU, I had to build what might be the best $1100 gaming PC for this video. But with a base frame rate of 890, we're gonna need some serious PC hacks to reach 1000 average FPS. And what better way to start than with the 10 most liked PC hacks on TikTok. This might have been the worst start to a challenge that I've ever had. As you'd probably expect, these were all either a complete waste of time or surface level PC optimizations. Because the TikTok search engine is just not very good and finding an actually useful video was not easy. You know, the worst part about this video is that I'm never gonna get those five seconds back. He taught us how to turn on our keyboard light. At this point, I was about to just quit the challenge and just do YouTube shorts instead. That was until I watched the second most liked PC hack on TikTok because this one was actually kind of useful. At least that's what I hoped because apparently by pressing Control Shift Windows plus B, that resets your graphics drivers. And for some strange reason, this button combination is super popular on TikTok. And so many people think that it actually stabilizes your FPS and sometimes even boosts your FPS. But according to ChatGPT, which is, you know, my favorite source of very reliable information, ChatGPT says no, it does not boost your FPS. But the TikTok kids, they said that it would stabilize my FPS. Does it at least stabilize my FPS? So guess what I did? I did it anyways. So here I am in front of my PC right now. I'm actively using my graphics card. So this is probably the worst time to reset my graphics drivers. I think it actually does more than that. It resets the whole graphics subsystem. But basically what I'm getting at here is that if something goes wrong, I'm immediately gonna notice because I'm using my GPU right now. Um, Bad news, it is now 4.40 PM and of course, they hit us with yet another update. I'm not even joking, every single time Epic Games puts out an update, my FPS starts tanking. So I'm just gonna hop into a game of Team Rumble to recompile the shaders, and hopefully by the end of all this, our FPS will be back to normal, or maybe it'll even increase, who knows. Never in a million years would I have thought that pressing four buttons on your keyboard could boost your FPS this much, but here we are. We gained about 10 FPS on both average FPS and 1% lows, peaking at 936 FPS. However, I do think that it's just because of the update since the VRAM, RAM, and GPU usage numbers don't make any sense, but this is still a very strong start to the video. But because the rest of the videos that showed up when I searched up PC hacks were still completely useless to me, I decided to switch up the strategy. So instead of searching for PC hacks, I decided to type PC optimizations instead, because that way I might be able to find better videos. That's when I came across the 10th most liked PC optimization video on TikTok, a clip from Tenz's live stream. I'm honestly expecting some pretty decent stuff from him. He's one of the greatest Valorant players of all time, arguably the best, and from what I've seen, he actually has some decent PC knowledge, so let's see what he has to share. Whenever I play Valorant, I always go over here and make sure that's compatibility, full screen optimizations, high DPI application right there. So I'm gonna do basically the exact same thing except for Fortnite. Where is Fortnite? Am I stupid? Don't answer that question. What the frick is nefarious software solutions, bro? There's no way that's not a virus. <laughs> Did I just find a virus on my PC? And we're gonna go to this one, properties. All right, we're already running into a problem here because we're missing the compatibility tab. I've actually had this problem in the past, so I don't remember exactly how to do it, but I know where to find the answer. So disable prop page from one to zero. It won't change immediately, I don't think. Oh, it did. All right, we did it. And then afterwards, I go into graphics settings. You turn on hardware, accelerated GPU, GPU scheduling. Then you go over to Valorant is installed. Shooter game, binaries here, there. 
go to high performance. You see, that would be good advice, but I don't even have the setting for high performance, whatever GPU scheduling, uh, because I don't know, my GPU just doesn't support it for some reason. But he did say to set the game to high performance, but that won't change anything for me because I already have it on specific GPU. And make sure startup apps just like turn off everything. I swear every time I go into my startup apps, there's like 20 new apps. I don't know how this happens. There are a couple things that I don't need to load up all the time. For example, Bacchus mod, CTF loader. I don't even know what this is. Microsoft Edge update. We absolutely do not need that. And yeah, I only left OBS studio enabled because I need to use that to record. But apart from that, that was pretty much everything I could do in the video. Anything I didn't do was because it's Nvidia specific or Windows 10 specific. But yeah, I'm just going to restart my PC and hopefully when we come back, we're going to gain some more FPS. And we did. We are now averaging at around 915 FPS. I think most of it came from disabling my startup apps because since the last challenge video I did, I installed quite a bit of software and forgot to disable them on startup. But anyways, we are actually on pace to hit 1000 FPS. But this pace that we had did not last long because these videos were extremely basic things that I've already done, like enabling Expo or applying the ultimate performance power plan. So if I wanted to get that last 85 FPS, I needed something far more advanced, something I had never seen before. At least that's what I thought, because beneath those obvious tweaks, there's an entire realm of simple optimizations so basic that not even I have bothered to try. One of those basic tips showed up in this video. The guy suggests switching my power mode from balance to best performance. This was a setting I had never touched since you don't even get the option to change it if you switch your power plan from balance to high performance, power saver, or anything else. If you use any other power plan, you just physically cannot change this. So we're gonna set this to balanced and then set this to best performance. So maybe changing my power mode instead could make all the difference. Obviously, this did not do shit because the ultimate performance power plan was putting in work earlier. And it's no surprise that I was getting pretty frustrated. I've spent hours scrolling through TikTok trying these optimizations just to not have 1000 FPS. So I switched my power plan back to ultimate performance where we averaged at 915 FPS and went back into the challenge with a new strategy. Instead of just picking from the most popular videos at random, I decided to check out some of the most popular accounts on the platform. And I think I found a hidden gem. Well, not really hidden since he has 570,000 followers, but you get the point. There's not a lot of good stuff on TikTok, so I'm very happy that I found someone that knows what he's doing. The guy's name is Sheet, and he made a skit about overclocking, which is something that I definitely need to try. Normally, I don't bother with overclocking my CPU since it's already clocked at 5.45 gigahertz, and I basically never overclock my GPU because I get plenty of FPS already. But for this challenge, it could be the one thing that gets us to our end goal, so I thought I might as well try it. So I booted into the BIOS, enabled Precision Boost Overdrive, and booted back into Windows. It's really that easy to get a safe overclock. 991! It keeps hitting 991, and then it goes back down, dude. Although it was relieving to finally be this close to the target, it was also aggravating. Looks like we need just a little bit more power. With overclocking having the biggest impact out of everything we've done today, the obvious decision was to try PBO enhancement, since that's just gonna make our overclock even better. And of course, I bricked my motherboard. Well, almost. So I thought to myself, why not just reset my BIOS settings? I took out the CMOS battery, left it for 10 to 15 minutes, and then popped it back in. And to make sure my PC was working as usual, why not test Fortnite again just to make sure everything's working? And let me just say, it was running a little bit better than usual. Oh my god, how did, how did it just shoot up to 1000? I just reset my BIOS and enabled PBO again. I don't get it. No, why is it going down? Please. Wait, it's coming back up. 1000 average FPS. Hey, this is way better than I could have ever imagined. Yeah, that is absolutely insane. But if you enjoyed this video and want to see how a $20 GPU gets 500 FPS, watch this video next.